there's a lot of benefits of using these type of robots for search and rescue or hazardous environment exploration. They're agile. They can fit into small sort of nooks and crannies. You know, you can have a lot of them operating simultaneously to, to have greater coverage. But the drawback is that they're very inefficient at flying. When you perch, though, you, you effectively can, can reduce that power consumption dramatically, at, you know, perhaps even down to zero. So it's really an energy savings that could, uh, you know, hypothetically substantially increase the, the sort of mission lifetime for, uh, for these types of robots. When we approach LEAF, there are two things that are important. A, our electrodes of patch needs to be aligned with the LEAF, and B, we want to limit the rebound. We don't want to bounce off the LEAF so we can stay close to it. Both of this is addressed with a very simple solution. We put a, this yellow foam mount that absorbs energy up an impact and ensures that both of these criteria are fulfilled. So two things that are cool about this is that we can attach to a lot of different surfaces, like as we demonstrated, but also that the low disengagement forces are actually really important because they enable a future prototype of the robot to potentially land somewhere and then not only stay there and use the high vantage point for observation, but also to reposition itself and return to an operator with collected data. So it can go back to operate in flight.